Can, can you say me love you long time? Me love you long time. <laughs> See, that's the will, video. You know. That's yeah, cool. Well. <laughs> right. So this is a ghast. Yeah. Two members of a ghast. What's your names? I'm James. Vocals. Christian Ghast. <laughs> Cool. What it's are you nice. doing in the band? Oh my god, I fucked that up. Let's do it again. No, 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 no. no. Oh we're keeping that This is so unprofessional, it doesn't make a fucking difference. We'll fuck it up anyway. Next question. Then. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so how long have you been going for? Um, about six or seven years now. Six or seven probably. years. Uh, we kind of got it together at a metal festival, Wacken Festival. Are you both original Germany. members or? Um, yeah, 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 we're original members. Well. I, mean, I cool. guess we, we kind of started off a little project back in 2004, but it didn't really become a band until right. 2006, 2007, when, um, well, we, we've known Nick for yeah. ages, but Dan was my mate at uni. We kind of joined together, and cool. since then we've been doing gigs and gigs up and gigs. down the country. And I, was, I must have seen you, I'm sure I've seen you about five or six times. I've seen yeah. you at the Purple Turtle, and I've seen you here the all day. And I saw you at the King's Cross when you did the fucking oh with, the, with the zombie film at that the end of the show, awesome man. Fun. You've got to do fun. more of them. More, yeah, more shows with with uh, with, with films at the end. I've always said that music is yeah. never good without a film at the end of it. I, I said that. No. I'm going to go home and watch a film right now. I've been yeah. thinking of a name for it, man. You should become promoters, yeah? Call it Cine Metal. All right, yeah? Cine Metal. Cine Metal. And you can, you know, like two bands, two bands and a wicked film at the end. That would fucking be awesome. That should be an excellent idea. Half price Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> That's and always a, a good idea. Jack Daniels there as well. As well. So, oh, yeah, so, to serve yeah. you. Yeah. Jack Daniels. Very <laughs> or you get like a little tag team called Jack and Daniel. That's yeah. better. <laughs> it's even better. It must be hard to find someone called Jack Daniels. It's yeah. just find someone called Jack and someone called Daniel. Yeah. We've already got a Daniel in the band. And, so and we've got we'll a cock of Spaniel. Like Jack and Daniel with a cock of Spaniel and you'll be yeah, laughing. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Talking bollocks now. Right, so what did it say? Six years, you say? Yes. Uh, so CDs? Uh, we actually have an album in the works at the moment. Uh, the drums have been done. Mm -hmm. the, guitars, uh, the guitars have been done. I'm doing vocals next week. Um, at a studio somewhere in the depths of London. I think it's uh, somewhere in Near the river somewhere. Yeah, near yeah. the river. Um, and then we're looking in to the have river, it. maybe. <laughs> yeah, <possibly. laughs> we're doing that would create an indie original um, sound. We're doing on a houseboat. If it, if it doesn't get Maritime. swept away <laughs> by the river, hopefully it'll be out sometime around February, March next year. Well, that's we haven't decided on a title yet. In fact, no. we're, we're locked in, in uh, a debate. A debate uh, let's about hear it. That. Let's hear it. But, uh, why, why don't you both tell us what title you oh, like best? No. And we'll get oh, the no, viewers no, no, to no, vote on it. A viewer's vote. We're just in two minds. I can tell you that there's going to be 11 tracks on it. The three tracks we're on our last EP, Live Dangerously, plus eight new tracks, um, and it's going to be about 45 minutes long, yeah. and it's going to be life-changing. Right. For, for us. So you said last EP, so this isn't your first one then? Uh, we've had a couple of EPs. Uh -huh. we, we've released our first EP back in 2007. A Wolf in the Kingdom of Heaven, and then we had Afterlife Crisis, 2009, and then Live Dangerously, 2012, and now. 2014. Quite a, there's a, could we're be like, a yet to be named. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, almost slipped up there. <laughs> oh, it's still available. It's, like it's gonna. Well, I don't know. We're, we're looking to try and get it available absolutely everywhere. We're trying yeah. to get some label back. All the old ones are they still available? Um, they're available. Um, you can get Live Dangerously through UK EM. Yeah. Online, UK Extreme Metal. You can find the other UK. They're around. Yeah. Um, and then the other ones. Well, if you just search it on the internet, yeah, you'll find them. Yeah. In fact, just go to agasmetal.com and you'll find all of the, all of the links you can possibly need right there. What about uh, other merchandise? Have you got any other um, T-shirts up there as well, uh, uh, exclusively on UKEM at the moment. Um, and we're looking to get some more of our much-coveted yeah. monster T-shirts printed up. But that'll all come in, uh, you know, linked up with the album and everything. We'll have a, we'll have a big push on all that kind of awesome. stuff. So. Before we go, we are enough.
So you've been touring a lot lately or playing a lot recently? Um, we've got a, a gig next week in our hometown. Well, hometown show. Well, half, of our, half of our hometown. Um, what is, is your hometown? It's Hitchin up in Hertfordshire. That's where right. Mick and I, the, the drummer and me, are from. Uh, we're doing a Halloween show. And it, it's kind of it's kind of a tradition. We've had like a, every year we seem to be we seem to get they want us back for the Halloween excellent, show. Excellent. A couple of years ago we did it and we had we basically do party games during our sets. So we had people bobbing for apples. We had people wrapping <laughs> up mummies. We had, this year we're going to have um, the, the world's first blindfolded ball of death. Oh, um, <laughs> I wish we were there for our camera. Along with that. a variation yeah, on uh, musical chairs called Barstool Roulette. Oh, there's, a, there's another people... band that does that. Ah, well, you have to take a shot in between every round. Oh, uh, right. Well, they don't so, do that. Uh, <laughs> uh, who pays That's for the, the shots? Last twist. Sorry. <laughs> who pays for the shots? I don't know. <laughs> who pays for the insurance? Is yeah. The point? yeah, that's the question. So it's hitching, bitching when it comes to metal, then. Absolutely, and, and it's pretty good in terms of music. Anyway, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, you know. They've really looked after us, and we've, you know, we've had a lot of fun playing there. That's Our next show after that is in Cambridge. Yeah, Cambridge in November, with a very exciting up and coming band called The Projectionists, who... They played here a little while ago. Ah, yeah, yeah we are big fans of theirs. Uh, they've, they've been good enough to put us on. And then we've got one more show up around Christmas time up in Shefford. Shefford with our boys <laughs> in the Smoking Hearts. If you fancy coming up to Shefford, it's a good night out. You won't be able to get home, no. but it's great. It's so it's Sheffield or Shefford? Shefford. It's in, it's in Shefford. Bedfordshire. Ah, Bedfordshire. Yeah. Right, right. Out in the sticks. So is that your furthest, far, furthest gig you travelled to? or? Well, uh, the furthest north we've gone to date, I suppose, is like Manchester, Manchester and Leeds. In fact, we, we're hoping to, we're going on a tour, but we haven't told anyone about this yet. Ah. ah, exclusive. We might be going on a tour with Amputated early next year, three oh. three dates, um, and I think we're going to Liverpool to for the Liverpool, first time, yeah, yeah. Right. Newport in Wales, and then Oxford. So that's a good little tour for you. So, yeah, yeah. we haven't been to any of those places, so it's kind of... Yeah, you heard it here first. Yeah. yeah, that's actually true. That's an exclusive for Metal Perf TV. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we like. <laughs> right, go on, well, you ask another question, I can't forget. Uh, <laughs> uh, how, how did your band get together? Like, how? Well. Uh, Christian and I have known each other since school, as, as same with Nick, we met when we were 16, so we, we were always sort of punning around and playing in bands, and um, I guess when we when we left school, we went off to university, Nick went off to music college, and we kind of drifted apart, but then we came back together. Um, went and we, to Wacken. Yeah, went to Wacken. All ended up in uh, medical tent and so we started that. <laughs> yeah, so, and so, and so we've been sort of chipping away at it since then, since 2006, 2007, and we haven't had as much time as we would have liked to work on it, but mm. I mean, we're really excited because now it feels like everything's starting to come together. The album is sounding really fat and huge yeah, and massive. exciting, and you know, this is a, this is the sort of, 2014 is going to be our year, I yeah, think. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, the thing For is with Deathmap is you never, you can't, there's no money in it. No. So you kind of have to work and take the gigs that will either be fun or will progress you in some way, mm. and it, we're playing a niche within a niche within a niche. Yeah. You know? Exactly. So, I mean, and just look at a show like tonight. I mean, we've all got day jobs. They've all got day jobs. We, we just there's four awesome bands who played here at the Unicorn in Camden tonight for free, mm -hmm. and it was a, it was an awesome night. It was now a massive. Event. And we had so much fun. So such good vibes. You know. Vibes. So did you get your degrees then at the university? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, have, you, know, you got a day job. I'm, an, I'm an English teacher. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. There you go. Do you, do you spot the metal kids like in your class and like, you know, yeah, the, give them some mixtapes and shit? Some big fans. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. actually, they're very small. Yeah. <laughs> they're small fans. But they're big. Actually, they've got lots of pocket money, they so they can buy merch. <laughs> but yeah. it eventually comes up. That's what you want, that's what you want. That's what you need, man. That's what you need. As if peddling metal in class. <laughs> yeah. Occasionally, occasionally. Well, you've got to check the next, the next generation of metalers, you know. Absolutely. You know, they're there. Don't at, least, go. at least you're not an RE teacher. No. <laughs> that, that, that would, would be a contradiction. No sense, would it? Yeah. Well, well, maybe you'd be the perfect candidate to teach RE. I'm biased. Anyway. Okay, Halloween's coming up. I can see some people are dressed for the occasion. Well done to you. I'm oh, sorry we didn't make the effort with fucking shit. Oh. Although we're opening enough as it is. We're going to sing the song about Satan, that's alright with you. <laughs> Is that alright with you, sister? Yeah. Brilliant. Fantastic. We've got God's world behind us. It's called Hell's Bells and Buckets. Oh, yeah.
What sort of stuff do you sing about? Um, lots of things. Um, it, it generally, it's just, it's just whatever kind of is on our minds at the time. So some of our most recent songs, like the last song we played tonight, is just about us as a band and yeah, having right. a good time and playing time metal. Right. We've got songs about zombies, we've got songs about politics, we've got songs about Satan. I, I think I've got the life. first four songs today on your set. So what was the first song about? What was the, the first, first song? song what was it about? The was Drop Dead Famous, which is actually a bit of a tribute to Michael Jackson, in a way. <laughs> it's about fame and the, the price of fame and how, you know, how things can go to shit, basically, right. and people can end up in the gutter. Um, we Fear Silence, which is the next track, is kind of about the modern world that we live in and yeah. all the stresses and strains. Which is called We Fear in, Silence. Um, we Fear yeah. Silence. Right. So yeah, the idea that uh, it's such a noisy, busy world yeah. that when you get a bit of silence, it's kind of yeah. nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Especially, uh, you know, being a Londoner. Yeah, that's quite <laughs> deep. <laughs> that is deep, that's really yeah. deep. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so we've got some deep stuff, but we've got some more fun stuff. I like to do some, you know, traditional death metal, gory stuff, but also something which is a little bit more forward thinking and a little bit more cerebral, a bit more human. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the idea. Okay, yeah. you got anything else to ask? Uh, um, 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 uh, anything else uh, you want to say to people? Um, I don't know, just keep your eyes on our website at gasmetal.com. Um, we'll, we will be starting to drip feed you information about this uh, yet to be mentioned album. Yeah. Uh, yet to be named album. Yet to be named. <laughs> we mentioned um, it a lot. Oh, yeah, we have to, yeah, <laughs> did, did we mention that we're having yeah. an album out next year? Um, I think so. Yeah, and we've also got a couple of ideas for videos in the works. Yeah, so that's going to be exciting as well. Yeah, so, videos. yeah. We've kind of avoided doing any videos because you will normally just get the, the classic performance video, you yeah. know, contrast way up, just crash zooms all over the place. And I think once you've got. Once we've saved a bit of money to do it properly, we've got a lot of very good ideas. Yeah. Because I think, you know, people people have sort of disrespected the idea of having a video, it being a creative outlet, rather than mm. just a performance video for people to pedal, you know? And we'd like it to be something you want to watch for the sake of it being a video, rather than watch it because you might be We was chatting to When God's Burn earlier on who played today, and they got a mate to do it for 50 quid. Have you yeah. seen their video? It's quite good. And there's some guy called Horse Meat or something. Horse Meat. Horse look, look him up horse online, meat. and it's it's maybe he'll be uh, available for your video. You never know. I mean, that's, the thing. that's how people get into music these days. I think people can test it. Yeah. <laughs> Iceland, isn't it? But rest assured, horse it'll be, as with everything we do, it's going to be something different. It's going to be a gas. So that's the bottom line. Also, follow us on Twitter and Facebook there, Gast Cult, KBL T. Which is more cult. Which is way more cult than yeah. cult. Because a cult has you know, sort of negative <laughs> connotations. connotations with it. You know, an actual cult, you don't want that. Yeah. No. But a cult, like KBLT, is mm. like a bit more church burning, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. Just do that. The cult of Just keep it to Aghast yourself. endorse <laughs> church burning. Well, suggest. Perhaps, allegedly. If Politely you're, suggest. If you've got some matches and you're of an evening, you're short of something to do. But they light a candle you for your relatives. They're quite, they're quite yeah. hard to burn down in the UK because they're made up of stone. Yeah. This, is this is true. You could probably torch a door, but then that means more people can come into it. A bulldozer or something. Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't have the same sort of ring to it as burning. It's not a church, quite as romantic, so. yeah. is it? It's sort of more like maybe someone will give you some money at the end of it. Yeah. Like you've worked a really hard day. That's it. Well, that's the church. That's quite a difficult job. There's a lot of stone to shift. I don't know how many men you need to do that. We should probably investigate we that. Need to Are we doing this? <laughs> you may be. Fuck it, I'll, I'll come along. I'll come along. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, we'll give it a go. We'll probably just say, don't. Yeah, don't. And don't, don't. Yeah, it's too much effort. To yeah. Honest. Perfectly. Killing yeah. matches. <laughs> Ma everyone, matches ain't cheap. Everyone to themselves. Each to their own. Petrol's not fucking cheap nowadays. Do you know what it's really yeah. not? No, don't, don't do yeah. the other two holy buildings there, either. You get like... hefty charge for that. <laughs> <laughs> 350 for yeah. a pint of petrol. It's disgusting. <laughs> and it tastes foul, man. Yeah. Right. Anyway, well, we've you, been Cameron. a guest. Yeah. <laughs> and you've been watching Metal Perv TV. Yeah, can we, right. get, can we get you give our, our, our sign off? We always try and get the bands to do. Just sure. say Metal Perv TV, all metal, no plastic. Okay. Okay. All right. Metal Perv TV, all metal, no plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs>